सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट घोस्ट नाइट व्यू सीन विद यूजिंग ई वीरेंडा दैट इट्स रियली ब्यूटीफुल एंड बेस्ट ट्यूटोरियल फॉर बिगिनर्स सो फर्स्टली गाइस क्लिक ऑन हियर एंड डिलीट योर ऑल ऑब्जेक्ट्स सो नाउ गाइस आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ प्लेन दिस वन गाइस आई क्रिएट घोस्ट इफेक्ट so plane size i like 2 all 2 yes and go to object edit mode and right click guys go to subdivided and subdivided counts that's my number i like 50 yes right i create subdivided okay so now guys select this plane and go to up like this and next one guys i take sphere uv sphere and change sphere radius radius like this yeah and go to up yes okay so now guys i apply collider effect on this one sphere collider and guys select this one that's my plane and apply cloth effect yes and guys quality i like 8 and go to on last collision quality i like 5 and self collision check yes okay so guys now i go to on catch a here and catch a and i like only 100 that's it so guys go to on here bake okay so guys my baking is finished now go to back and play yes you guys that's my cloth simulation and yes that's my look ghost effect okay so guys right click and shade smoother yeah and now guys i apply subdivision surface and viewport level 2 and 2 and next one guys i create thickness so use solidifier this one yeah that's it guys see guys that's my cloth right okay so now guys set your cloth simulation like this Yeah. See guys, that's my close simulation. Take any frame like this. Yes, right. Okay. So now, guys, go to on cloth and apply and subdivision. Apply and solidifier. Apply. Yes, that's it, guys. See, now that's my simple objects, right? Okay, so next one, guys. I take this time create ring. So use torus and I change radius like this more. Yeah, I like zero point. Yeah, three is good. Okay, so guys, radius also change and location. Go to an up. Yeah. Guys, I take zero point zero two. Yes, and guys, location little bit more up. Yes, see guys, that's my like ghost effect. Okay, so now guys, I create null. So use go to on empty here and use arrow. Yes. Okay, so guys, select your all objects, plane, sphere, and torus, and holding shift key. drag and drop on empty object yes and guys that's my ghost enter yes see guys that's my ghost right okay so now guys apply simple material and go to on here material property and create new guys base color i like blue 0.6 and all one and one yes Okay, so now guys go to on metallic zero point three and roughness zero point three. Yes. Okay, so guys go to on here. That's my ring and create new material. And guys go to surface emulsion and color. Guys, I like orange color. And one and strength I like fifty. Yes. Right. Okay. So now guys go to on render setting. I use EV render, MP occlusion check, bloom power check, and screen reflection check. Okay, so guys, go to on here. Yes, 
that's my really cool ghost effect right and guys go to on here word properties and i like black color z black yes okay so next one guys select this ghost and now duplicate and right click select hierarchy and press ctrl c and v guys create copy go to on here and one more time copy yes and now guys select side ghost and go to back like this yeah see guys that's really cool okay so now guys select your all objects and go to on up like this up yes okay so guys my ghost is complete now i take flow plane and plane size increase like this more and create axis like this go to on here yes right and now guys i take camera and camera check set your camera angle and go to on here and camera 90 0 and 0 guys press 0 0 and guys set your camera angle so go to back like this and yeah okay 90 is good okay so guys my camera angle is finished and next one guys i apply background so guys this time i use landscape this one that's my landscape and guys landscape check guys go to on operation presets i take this one yeah and guys go to on here wireframe see guys that's my like surface right okay so now guys select this surface go to on here and rotate rotate like this like minus 90 and increase size guys size increase like this yeah and go to on here go to camera i set your position yes and little bit go to on change position yes press zero yeah okay so now guys wireframe uncheck and guys select your this one and duplicate and rotate guys rotation like this same 180 degree and little bit closer yes okay so guys that's really good and next one guys i apply one more shape and duplicate rotate like this same minus 90 and set your position yes and press zero yeah see guys that's my composition and now guys i apply tree so guys i apply tree so go to on add and curve and use spline tree this one yes that's my tree right and guys buy from uncheck and guys go to on here that's my load presets and use japanese maple yeah and apply leaves guys show leaf check and guys leave i like 25 is good yeah and now guys go to on again that's my brass plate and guys base plate change and increase leaf like four is good one more time four yes that's my tree and now guys one more time go to geometry and change scale size so scale size minus two yeah right okay so now guys select your tree select hierarchy and set your position go to back like this more and little bit rotate your tree rotate like this and little bit more back yes right it's really good and now guys i take one more tree so duplicate and go to on here back yes and again rotate randomly like this and guys one more time rotate yes 
See guys, that's my really cool composition. Okay, so my tree is finished now. Guys, next one, I apply this time. That's my torus. And now guys, I take one more time torus. So torus size change, radius change like one. And guys, increase this radius. 0 0.5 is good. Right, and rotation, that's my rotation, change like 90, enter, yes, and guys, go to an up, and guys, now, go to an up, guys, apply material for this torus, select, and create new, and guys, surface, emission, and color, like 0 0.04 and 1, and strength 50 yes and guys now duplicate this torus duplicate press ctrl c and v simple select and guys i change color so guys create new surface emission and guys i take blue color and strength i like 50 same i show you see guys that's my beautiful color and duplicate go to on here yes see guys that's my really cool composition and now guys select all torus and go to back yes so press zero yes see guys that's my really cool composition okay so press zero guys little bit increase this scale size scale size is good go to back and up like this yeah okay so guys my composition is finished now guys i apply light so for light guys i take area light for top view area light and that's light for my tree and go to up guys i increase size size 2 is good and guys power 300 and color I like orange 0 0.024 and 1 enter yes and one more time duplicate this light apply on here yes okay so guys now I take one more light for front light that's for front for my ghost and rotate rotate like this guys 90 select this light go to an up Guys, power 100 is good. Simple, 100. And size, little bit increase, like 2 is also good. And go to back. Yes. And now, guys, see, that's my final composition. Okay, so guys, I take one more light for plane, point light. And guys, size is good. Color, I like, like blue. 1. And power, like 200. And that's for my light, side light. Go to on here. Yes, go to on up. Yeah, and press zero. Yes. See guys, that's my light. And now duplicate. And change, guys, color, light color. Like orange. Yes. And guys, go to on render preview. Yes. See guys, that's my beautiful composition. That's my final composition. And now, guys, I create material for this plane, this one, and go to an up, guys, go to shader, that's my shader editor, and guys, select this plane, and create new, so closer, guys, I create material for this plane, and now, guys, I use color ramp, so go to on here, color ramp, color ramp, and connect with roughness, Yes, and guys, color ramp, black color, position 0 0.5, and white color 0 0.7, yes, and now guys, I take noise texture, noise texture, connect with this one, guys, base color, I like Z black, yes, and yes, see guys, that's my texture, and guys, increase this scale size, like double 10, and increase detail also good. Like 20 is good. And now, guys, I take bump. 
like type bump map and connect with normal here yeah, normal map yes and now guys i take this time copy this color ramp shift d and connect with height and now guys noise texture connect with face like this yes see guys that's my really cool background flow background right see guys that's my really cool foreground that's really cool right okay so now i select and little bit increase this size stretch yes much better okay so press zero that's my flow and go to on timeline here yes guys go to and render preview yeah beautiful guys that's really beautiful render and guys set your position light position yes and guys increase the size like 0.4 is also good and select this one that's my light 0.4 yes okay so guys now i apply final texture this side one and go to on here guys now i use blender toolkit that's my blender toolkit guys you can download this blender toolkit link in description so click on here material and type lava and enter see guys that's my beautiful lava materials guys free so use anyone like this one and simple select drag and drop yes and click on here see guys that's my lava material it's really good right okay so now guys apply same lava material on all walls so press zero select this one wall and guys apply lava material so go to on last and apply yes and lastly guys select back one and apply yes okay so guys my final composition is finished that's my final one and click on here that's my render preview final render preview yeah beautiful guys that's really beautiful so guys my final work is finished so if you like my video please share and please subscribe my youtube channel